Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. If you're new here, hey, my name is Brittany and I talk all things of beauty here on my channel. And for today's video, I am in a different area because I am going to be filming an empties video and I needed all the room that I could get. So, if you like watching empties, then uh, awesome. Please stick around for today's video. Um, I've just got so much in front of me, like, I don't even know where to start. Typically, I like to film empty sooner rather than later because then you get so, so many. And honestly, I haven't even been keeping all the products. Sorry. But it just gets overwhelming. <laughs> Anyways, let's just dive in. Uh, first, this is the Sol de Janeiro 62 Pistachio and Salted Caramel. I just already have a backup of this. I picked it up again during the Sephora VIB sale. Love it. It's like my favorite spring, summer fragrance. So yeah, and I also got the Boom Boom Cream, which there's a few of these little mini empties and I got the medium size. I think I have like three or four of the minis in here, but I'll just show you one, you know, for Tom's sake. Oh, uh, let's see. This Kirstoss hair stuff, uh, it's amazing. Honestly, the standout for me is the hair oil. I definitely want to purchase like the mini one eventually boy does my hair love this brand like i see such a difference so this is a hair care brand that actually works i have two empties there may be even a third one in here somewhere i love them and they have lasted me since last november i believe so definitely an amazing amazing hairline every time i get a chance to get those samples i do because whew, they are so so good um a dry shampoo from Kristen s the brunette i'm not a big fan it works it does the trick but of like the brown in it because it has like the dye stuff not dye what is it called uh, i don't know it's got brown in it brown dry shampoo and like it will get all over my forehead so it's just like not for me but it does work i just want i don't want the brown you know what i'm saying but it is nice like like right here you could just squirt it and literally you wouldn't see my scalp just saying but i just didn't want to put that all over me <laughs> okay this pixie um hydrating milky mist i already have a new one i bought this for my mom like this stuff i've gone through i think this is my third one it's amazing i absolutely love it i have a little bit like just a little bitty bit left but it like just spritzes out weird so yeah anyways i love that and i will always repurchase that from pixie i'm also out of mm, right here my glow recipe watermelon glow ultra fine mist i love this stuff it's just a little expensive but it just oh, it's so nice for like skincare i don't mix it with makeup same thing with the pixie these two are just for like skincare purposes i have different makeup setting sprays i like better another one of these <laughs> Um, Olaplex. I have quite a few products from Olaplex I finished up. Uh, let's see. This one, this one. There possibly is even more in here. I like Olaplex. I do. They're just so expensive. I honestly probably won't repurchase any of these, but they were really nice to have. Like during Christmas and stuff, whenever I can get those really nice bundles, I will probably pick up some more. If you hear anything, it's my dog breathing. <laughs> She's a big hefty girl. She's a big old husky. Um, makeup wipes, nothing fancy. These are just like a quite sensitive skin. They're nice, you know, it's a makeup wipe. I've got so, so many of these like Bath and Body Works hand soaps. I go through them so often. So yeah, I really do enjoy them. Um, what's not to love? They smell good. Wash your hands and they just look nice sitting on your counter. So definitely I go through those all the time. Those are just the ones I have in here. I've been throwing them away left and right because I just didn't have the space to keep all the empties. Um, this leave-in conditioner from Way. I really do enjoy it. I probably won't repurchase because I prefer the Amiga one, which is also empty. So if I had to pick, I like the Amiga because it smells so, so good. But both of these are nice. This one, it kind of smells like, I don't know. I don't even know how to describe that, but I prefer the Amiga one if you're curious. Uh, the Moroccan hydration conditioner. I'm out of the shampoo as well, but honestly, I threw that one away. <laughs> Actually, I think my husband was guilty of throwing that one away. Anyways, uh, yeah, I like this brand. I prefer their hair oil because it kind of makes my hair just a little bit too greasy for my liking, but if you got super dry, dry, like it dries the desert hair, I think you would really enjoy this. Um, let's see. I got an... an 
but yeah this is a poor professional primer from benefit i finally emptied this one this amika the cure multi mask repair treatment i've gone through several of these i actually just finished a balloon one as well i already threw it away i'm terrible at this <laughs> i just had so many empties i had nowhere for them this basket was overflowing but yeah i do love amika products anytime i can get them i do they smell so good and my hair just really enjoys them uh, this peach and lily this is called the power calm hydrating gel cleanser i really do enjoy this i could definitely see myself getting this or the glow recipe like the avocado is it the avocado or am i making that up the little green i've gone through two of those i love that cleanser so this one and then the glow recipe i've been really enjoying obviously the tula uh that's my og that's my favorite anyways I just I felt guilty like I had to say that Tula is my number one but the peach and lily um yeah that's really nice as well okay so this was my first high-end makeup product ever like literally ever my boss um it's been so long I'm a stay-at-home mom now but my old boss she bought me a whole it cosmetics thing and I was just in love but this little lippy they don't even make it anymore it's like ph um Vitality. They don't have it anymore, but I repurchased this several times, but this was my first high-end, not this container, but this component, like this lippy is what I'm trying to say, was the most expensive first high-end product I ever owned, and they don't make it anymore. I've gone through four of these, but the, one of them, the washer, um, I put it in the dryer at the day I got it, girl. Yeah, in the dryer, it just went pff, everywhere, so I guess I went through three one of them did not survive <laughs> this little essence of false lashes mascara it's okay i'm not going to repurchase it but eh, it's, it's fine just not my favorite uh i've gone through another super safe full coverage what is this the maybelline powder foundation it's kind of dry pan now but i've gone through so many of these i've just been throwing them away this is like my go-to foundation um, if you have dry skin, it's super dry, but I like to use a setting spray and just kind of make it look more like skin. Um, but I just like the full coverage aspect to this. So let me know of a, let's see, a powder foundation that is good for dry skin, preferably at the drugstore, because I would love to hit that up and try that. Um, glow recipe, I've got so many of these like minis. This one in particular is the Niacinamide Dew Drops. Love them. I bought the, the larger one really do enjoy this product honestly it's just good for adding hydration in my opinion and you look very luminous uh i've gone through another mini tatcha the silk canvas i really want to buy the larger one but it's so expensive because this and then the liquid version oh, it's my favorite primer ever it's so good i'm actually oh, i forgot to mention it i don't have it in here it's actually in my other like almost empty has been but the rare beauty the poor diffusing primer the big one i just ran out of that one as well so maybe i'll save that one for my next one to show y'all but i do like that one as well but Tatcha still is number one my dog is like trying to bust down the door to get in here um this clean reserve from what is this what is the brand name am i crazy is it brand clean i don't know but the reserve blend oh it's so good that's my favorite hold on rosy posy <laughs> she's like let me in um i've gone through a pillow talk mascara this is super nice just like oh if you want voluminous lashes this was a nice mascara but it's so little i never repurchased a larger one and then i went through for the last one nope i got one more this is the polish choice exfoliant um it's got bha which i can't use it while pregnant but i did finish this up right before i found out i was pregnant anyways yep i have a little mini of this one and then this is the last product this is there's dog hair all over it don't judge me um because it's been in the floor this is the almond oil from amazon it's just 100 percent almond oil i've been using it throughout my pregnancy if you're not familiar with my channel I'm, i've already had a baby by the time you're seeing this because i'm pre-filming but anyways yeah i really do like this um i've I'm not repurchasing it yet, but I definitely will. I've gone through a few of these. I also went through one with my son when I was pregnant with him during 2020. Oh, we have a conditioner. This Nexus brand, I uh, kept the shampoo. I already threw away the conditioner, 
but yeah it was really nice i don't know if i'll repurchase but it smells good i just want to smell it again oh it does smell nice but i didn't see any huge difference within my hair long term like initially i did but then it's just kind of like my hair got used to it so definitely amiga is like my favorite hair care brand to splurge on but anyways i'm looking around me those are all the empties that I currently have used up. Let me know down below some empties that you have recently used. I've been hitting pan left and right in products. So I'm excited to hopefully add some more makeup products to my empties next time. I cannot wait this long to do empties videos because they get so long. Anyways, thank you if you are still here. But that's going to do it wherever you are in the world. I hope you're doing well. I hope that you are healthy, happy, and safe. Stay beautiful. Bye, guys.